so let's look at problem 6.1 now uh, well uh, it's very similar to problem 5.2 so I recommend that you first have a look at problem 5.2 before trying this one now uh, The difference between problem 5.2 and 6.1 is the cost. Here we have an infinite horizon optimal control problem. So basically T uh, is replaced by uh, infinity here. And so we don't need the final uh, stage cost, a uh, final state cost. Now, uh, this is basically a MATLAB based problem so there is not much to do in terms of theory here what we want to see in this problem is how one can tune the row and obtain different values of uh, gains now note that we have a fixed gain F instead of a time varying gain which we had for a finite horizon problem so the second part of this problem asks us to plot for different values of rho uh, the control cost and the state cost so basically it wants us to uh, draw the Pareto optimal curve which can be obtained by varying uh, the tuning knob row so now you see the, the results here um, what is being plotted is the output omega of t and the control input u of t and for different values of rho now remember that when rho increases what you're saying is that control is more and more expensive which means that the optimal uh, control input will be smaller and smaller in magnitude and because the control input would be smaller the gain would be smaller we would uh, usually have slower and slower responses so this so for example this response here the last one is the slowest response and that will correspond to the smallest uh, control input or the highest value of rho and this curve will correspond to the fastest uh, response so the lowest value of rho so rho is going up in this direction now for the control input you can see that the blue curve see that as rho now for the control input you can see that as rho increases you get lesser and lesser control input so this one corresponds to the highest value of rho and this one corresponds to the lowest value so the, the direction of increase of rho for this case is in this direction and I recommend that you play with this code for a while and try different values of rho to see if you understand or get a feeling for the tuning knob rho now the next thing which was the next question this next sub question B was to plot the the uh, Pareto optimal curve or to plot the uh, input and the state costs uh, for different values of rho and this is what you see here uh, you discussed this in the lecture so this is uh, also called the Pareto optimal curve um, and yeah there is not much to say 
here so what this means is that if you choose a particular value of rho which corresponds to to this point in order to reduce in order to reduce uh, the the state cost uh, or in other words in order to improve the performance uh, you would have to sort of increase the the control uh, cost by by going in this direction or if you wanted to reduce the control effort you would do it at the expense of a poor of a poor uh, poor uh, state cost which would then be this one so remember that what you want to do is to minimize uh, both these things so you want to go as much to the left as possible and as much to to the uh, as much downwards as possible and this is this curve is sort of the limit uh, where you cannot uh, which you cannot cross and that's the idea so that's it for this problem thanks a lot